Anyway, this is a 1935 Hercules light roadster. So, um, yeah, as I mentioned, the sloping top tube, the 650B tires means light roadster for, I don't know who made that, but it was an industry-wide term. Hercules, Raleigh, they all did that. There's a few cool things about this bike. It's unmolested. Uh, it has oil lamps, you know, which are pretty fun. There's a, this is the, this is the Lucas Demon, fully suspended, all right? There was a time in history where you could buy an oil lamp, you could buy an acetylene lamp, you could buy an electric lamp, and that period of time lasted 20, 30 years. So these old lamps, whether they be oil or acetylene, they have jewels on the side, red, green, port, starboard. But this was red on both sides, so I'm not sure how Mr. Reed did that. The bottom hinges down, that's how you fill it. And yeah, this is how you, ooh, I gotta turn the bike around. You'll like this. Yep, it's the Titanic, all right. <laughs> so this is how you light it. This isn't hinged, but it slides. Slide that up and stick your match in there. Off you go. Here's the oil-fired tail lamp, too. It has a true red lens. And like the front, there's a little hatch on the side. And you stick your match in there. And you can light your match off the bottom, if you wish. You know, you've got to use one of the matches that lights on anything. A blue tip. There we go. And this is how you refill it. you got to take the lamp off, leg on its side. And you can unscrew the wick, fill it full, and it latches in place. You light it, just the wick, close the hatch, and by then the front is burned out. <laughs> so off you go. Anyway, it says Hercules in the chain guard, the chain ring, excuse me. Uh, it also has Hercules on the rear mud guard mount. These people can see it. And I took the liberty. Now, I made a modification to this, and I know there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> but this is a stamped out badge. It says Hercules on it. So, you can, of course, you can see through it. So I took a piece of red reflector tape, cut it to the right shape, stuck it to the mud guard, screwed the badge back on, and so the name Hercules lights up in brilliant red as you put light on it. And we've got the, the uh, I don't know if that's a Lucas uh, mudguard, but it's brazed, or excuse me, mudguard reflector. It's brazed in place. You can't change that. You can't open that. It's on for good. The mudguards, uh, both of them were broken, uh, especially the front. It was, you can see a line across here, but this is a good insider's hint. If you got that problem with, with a mudguard that's fatigued, with a crack that's gone almost all the way across, or even if it's let loose. All these old English mud guards have a little lip behind the side. So you put a wire in there with some JB weld, and then a nice dollop of JB weld across the inside of the fender, and you put another wire piece across the other side. Uh, it's good to go, and it's been rock solid so far. That's an interesting looking pump. It is. I thank you for bringing that up because with this pump, we have a little bit of history. Actually, we know who used to own this. There's a name on this pump, and this is <laughs> Phil Reed, R E I D. So, Phil was the first owner of this bike. Here's the pump, uh, it has the same patina. The pump still works. Uh, of course, you know, modern pumps, you can't get more than 80, 90 years out of them. But this one, ooh, baby, we're, we're good. Yeah. Oh, I should mention the hub. It's dated 1934. It's a K4, and if you come across a K-series hub, that's how they date them. They don't say uh, uh, date with a month. They say just... K4, K3, K7, whatever. Uh, so this is a K4, 1934. That's how they date it. And a very interesting and different 
Shermie Archer logo. And they've got a, a, a ribbon that floats back and forth. Very pretty. So check that out if you get a chance. Uh, best that I can tell, the rims are chrome. Hubs chrome. The lamps are rust. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the handlebars I think are chrome. So yeah, this is early on, early on in the chrome era. I was looking at And don't forget to applaud for the uh, uh, Manitoba. Manitoba flag. I was just going to uh, thank you for representing us with yes. the flag. <laughs>